Hello everybody, it is me Smiler here today and I am here with all my friends. All of us that are here today are Ice Age animals or we're representing Ice Age animals and that's what we're going to talk about. But before we talk about these animals, we would like to talk to you about the Ice Age itself. Imagine a world in which ice extends further than the Arctic and Antarctic. A world in which ice sheets cover large chunks of North America, Europe and Asia. At times, much of the Earth's surface has been covered in sheets of ice. These periods of Earth's history are known as the Ice Age. It took place in the place to seen during the Cenozoic also known as the age of mammals. Over millions of years, Earth has moved from warm periods to cold periods and back to warm periods. Scientists don't know what triggers an ice age, but think it has something to do with the gradual changes in Earth's orbit around the sun over millions of years. The ice age was a very unique geological phenomenon, home to some of the hardiest animals on the planet, able to survive in the frigid temperatures of this harsh era. So let's talk about these ice age animals. So first, I am here with my sister Smila and my dad, and we are all saber-toothed cats, which is the most iconic predator of the ice age. Smilodon is the largest species of saber-toothed cat. It lives in the woodlands and plains of North and South America, measuring up to 8 feet long, standing slightly under 4 feet at the shoulder, and 600 to 800 pounds. The name Smilodon means night tooth. Despite being called a saber-toothed tiger, Smilodon was not actually a tiger. In fact, it is not closely related to any modern-day cat, but it is still an ancient ancestor of all big cats. It was a very robust cat with a body build of a bear, strong enough to bring down the largest of animals such as mammoth, mastodon, bison, and ground sloths. Smilodon was famous for its two long saber teeth, which could grow up to nearly 12 inches in length. It could open its mouth up to 120 degrees wide, which will give it room for those saber teeth to bite down and kill its victim, usually biting the throat or the belly, which would result in the animal bleeding to death. Fossil evidence has taught us that saber toothed cats may have been social animals living in social groups the same way modern day lions do, which would make it easier to hunt down large prey working together as a team. So the saber tooth was one of the most famous predators of the Ice Age. Now I am here with Wooly, his brother Morgan, and their mom, and they are woolly mammoths, which is one of the most famous animals of the Ice Age. These famous Ice Age animals lived in the plains of almost all over the Northern Hemisphere, ranging from North America to Europe to Asia and Africa. Standing at about 16 feet long and 11 feet tall, woolly mammoths were slightly bigger than today's modern-day African elephants. Woolly mammoths are an extinct species of elephant famous for their shaggy fur coats and long curved tusks. Their famous woolly fur coats keep them warm during the harsh winters of the Ice Age, which cover a thick layer of fat. And they use their long curved tusks to remove snow from rich vegetation such as grass. And they had small ears to help regulate their body temperatures in frigid weather. Mammoths are closely related to today's modern day elephants. The closest living relative of mammoths are Asian elephants. Mammoths also had many predators, the most formidable of which were early humans who hunted them for their meat, their hide, and their bones. Woolly mammoths are small cousins compared to Colombian mammoths, which is one of the largest species of elephants that ever lived. Colombian mammoths were also one of the largest land mammals to set foot in America, measuring to about 13 to almost 16 feet tall. Colombian mammoths were not as hairy as the woolly mammoth. Mammoths were also related to another extinct species of elephant called the Macedon, and although these two animals look very similar, there are a lot of differences between them. Mammoths stand taller at the shoulder and they have bulkier heads with longer, more curved tusks. But the main difference between these two animals was their teeth. Mastodons had sharp teeth for grinding leaves and twigs, whereas mammoths had flat teeth for grazing grass. Mammoths are the most famous animals of the Ice Age. And now I am here with Gray and his dad, who are both gray wolves, but they are representing the dire wolf. Dire wolves were the largest dogs that ever existed on the planet, living in the plains and forests of Canada, the USA, and Mexico. This large dog measured up to 5 feet long and 3 feet tall. So the dire wolf was much larger than today's gray wolves, and it had a much stronger bite with larger teeth, but it was still a lot like today's modern day wolves and it was closely related as well. They had a very keen sense of eyesight, hearing, and smell. It lived and hunted in packs, which was led by an alpha male or female. Hunting together in groups was a key to the hunting success of these animals. It is thought that wolves run down their victims to death, tiring them out, which would allow them to go for the kill. And just like modern day wolves, they howled to communicate with each other. The dire wolves were a lot like modern day wolves, just slightly bigger, which makes these wolves a top dog. Now I am here with Laura the lion who represents two animals, the American lion and the cave lion, which are two of the largest felines that ever existed on the planet. The cave lion was possibly the second largest cat that ever existed. Cave lions are closely related to modern day African lions. It was about 25% larger than today's modern day African lions. It lived in the cold plains and woodlands of Europe and Asia. And despite being called a cave lion, this ice age lion did not typically live in caves. It is
it's called a cave lion because most of the remains have been found deep inside the caves of Europe. Cave lions would usually hunt animals such as reindeer, but under pressure would actually hunt anything. It has been debated whether this cat was a solitary cat or not. Some studies suggest that it was a solitary cat unlike its modern day cousins, the African lion. But other research has shown that this animal may have lived in prides like modern day lions. Early humans have come across these lions so they knew what they looked like and how they lived. And if you take a look at this cave painting that was painted by early humans, you could see several lions in this one painting which may have suggested that it lived in prides like modern day lions. It has been debated whether cave lion males had manes or not. Some studies suggested that it did have a mane, it just wasn't visible because because the fur on the rest of its body was just as thick as a mane, which leaves a mane less visible. The cave lion was also related to the largest cat that ever existed on the planet, which is the American lion. It was a lot like the cave lion. The American lion may have measured up to 9 feet long, standing at above 4 feet tall or maybe even under 5 feet tall. Research studies have suggested that American lions were solitary cats and lived and hunted alone, unlike modern day African lions, which are a closely related cousin. It is also thought that these lions did not have manes. And these massive cats were able to conquer prey as big as bison. So American lions may have been the largest cats that ever lived on the planet. Now I am here with Brody the grizzly bear who is representing two animals which are the short-faced bear and the cave bear. The cave bear was probably the second largest bear that ever lived on the planet, standing over five feet tall at the shoulder when standing on all four legs and measuring up to about ten feet tall when standing on two legs. The cave bear has been found deep inside the caves of Europe and Asia and like all bears it was a hibernator as it had a very powerful sense of smell. It is also commonly known that cave bears were not carnivorous. They were actually vegetarians eating plants and berries. Recent studies show that its diet did not consist of meat. But predator or not, it was still a very formidable beast to come into contact with. Now the short-faced bear on the other hand was a very formidable predator to come into contact with. The short-faced bear was the largest species of bear that ever existed on the planet, measuring at about 6 feet tall when standing on all four legs, and standing at about 12 feet tall when standing on two legs, which is twice the height of any human. Short-faced bear is found in the mountains and woodlands of North America. It was an omnivorous animal. It was known for having a very short face as suggested in the name. It was armed with sharp claws and a mouthful of sharp teeth. It had a very keen sense of smell. The short-faced bear also had a chillingly powerful bite. Both cave bears and short-faced bears were two of the largest bears that ever existed. Rearing up on their two legs would intimidate any other predator. Yeah, it would be very intimidating to come across these formidable creatures. And now I am here with Rummer, who was a woolly rhino, another commonly known animal of the Ice Age. Woolly rhinos were closely related to modern day rhinos and were roughly the same size. They were found on the plains of Europe and Asia, measuring about 12 feet long and 6 feet tall. And they are most commonly known for those long horns, the longest of which can measure up to 3 feet long, which is twice the size of a modern day rhino's horn. And just like the woolly mammoth, the woolly rhino was covered with a thick layer of shaggy fur coat and a thick layer of fat to keep it warm in the frigid temperatures of the Ice Age. And like modern day rhinos, it had very poor eyesight but a great sense of smell. And they would charge when startled with short ears which would help regulate it its body temperature in the freezing cold. And these herbivores diets mainly consisted of grass. And another interesting fact about this animal is that its teeth were hollow, which gives it its scientific name. This was a very hardy and very feisty animal of the Ice Age. And now I am here with Perot, who was a giant ground sloth, also known as Megatherium. This animal really lives up to the name Megatherium, which means giant beast. Megatherium was a giant ground sloth that lived in the woodlands of South America, measuring up to nearly 20 feet long. This giant sloth was about the size of an elephant. It had a very strong build, almost indestructible. It was a very different animal when compared to its modern day relative, which is the gentle tree sloth. It had very long claws, which could measure up to about a meter in length. It typically walked on four legs, but would rear up on two legs to reach high leaves in the trees, and it would use its kangaroo-like tail to balance as it stood on two legs. And there were many other species of giant sloths which lived in North America, the smallest of which were as big as bears. It's crazy to think that there were sloths that ranged from the size of bears to the size of elephants. It may look like a gentle giant, but it was surely still a very dangerous animal. Now I am moving on to less commonly known animals of the Ice Age, one of which is a hyena, which is why I am here with my friend Patchy, who is representing two species of Ice Age hyenas, the American hyena and the European cave hyena. Both the American hyena and the cave hyena were very similar to each other, and they were also very similar to their modern day descendants, which is the African spotted hyena. These Ice Age hyenas may have been bigger than their modern day descendants, and despite living in different locations, these two Ice Age hyenas 
hyenas were very similar to each other. They were both hunters and scavengers, and they would eat everything on a carcass. These animals were pack hunters living in large clans, so led by an alpha female. Female hyenas grew larger than males and were much more aggressive. And another commonly known fact about hyenas is that they have the strongest bite force of any mammal on the planet, strong enough to crush the bones. And their digestive system was also strong enough to digest bones. It is also thought that their vocalization sounded like laughing. The frightening laughs of these animals are no joke. Hyenas usually laugh when they are under stress. Hyenas may have a bad reputation, but they're not so bad when you really get to know them. Another least commonly known animal of the Ice Age was the American cheetah, which is why I have my friend Blair here who is representing the American cheetah. And these two animals weren't that different either. The American cheetah was thought to have been a little bit larger than the modern day African cheetah. Cheetahs are one of the fastest land animals on the planet, running up to speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. They had a very thin, flexible body which makes them very agile runners. They would take long strides as they run, and they would use their long tail to keep balance during a high speed pursuit. And the American cheetah preyed upon animals such as pronghorn, which are now the fastest animals in North America. They needed to be fast in order to escape the massive American cheetah. Cheetahs also have markings on their faces which helps them to see through the glare of the bright sun. And unlike other cats, cheetahs are the only species of cat that do not have retractable claws. So yeah folks, there were cheetahs that lived in America and they were just as fast as the African cheetah. And another uncommonly known Ice Age animal was the jaguar, which is why my friend Nakia is here to represent two species of jaguar, such as the North American jaguar and the European jaguar. These two Ice Age jaguars were much larger than modern day jaguars, and today's jaguars are actually the third largest species of cat in the world and the largest species of cat in America. But today's jaguars live in the rainforests of South America, whereas the North American jaguar and the European jaguar lived in the frigid temperatures of the Ice Age. And jaguars also had a different killing technique compared to other cats. Most cats will kill their victims by biting the throat, closing the windpipe, which would cause the victim to suffocate to death. Jaguars had the strongest bites of any cat, which is why they would either bite the back of the neck or bite the back of the skull, crushing either one, which would kill the animal. And jaguars are also one of the few cats that love to swim. It's crazy to think that there were jaguars, cheetahs, and lions and hyenas in America, and there were also jaguars, hyenas, and lions that lived in Europe. And now I am here with Cooper, the thylacine, also known as a Tasmanian tiger. And hear me out, folks. The thylacine was not actually an Ice Age animal. It appeared a few thousand years after the last Ice Age. I thought I'd include him because he's still a prehistoric animal and he is also an extinct animal. The thylacine was a very unique animal. It was a carnivorous marsupial that lived in Australia. It looked like the mix between a wolf and a tiger. It had a bone crushing bite and it could open its mouth up to 130 degrees wide. This creature had a long thin tail similar to a kangaroo and like all marsupials it carried its baby in a pouch. Unfortunately the thylacine was hunted to extinction by humans. The last thylacine went extinct in a zoo in 1936 and if I did the math correctly that was about 84 years ago. So this animal has been extinct for less than a century and we still have footage and photos of this remarkable creature but its extinction was very unfortunate. Now we want to talk about the different Ice Age biodiversities and where certain animals live and here I have my friends who are animals or representing animals that lived in Ice Age America such as saber-toothed cats, woolly mammoths who can also represent the Colombian mammoth, dire wolves, American lions, short-faced bears, giant ground sloths, American hyenas, American cheetahs, and North American jaguars. There are a lot of animals here that you wouldn't expect to be found in America and now I am here with animals that would be found in Ice Age Europe such as woolly mammoths, woolly rhinos, cave lions, cave bears, cave hyenas, Pleistocene wolves, and European jaguars. Still some animals that you wouldn't expect to find in a place like Europe. Now we would like to go over Ice Age rivalries. The rivalries in North America were mainly among the predators of Ice Age America, such as saber-toothed cats and dire wolves, American lions, short-faced bears. All these animals were predators and were always competing amongst each other for the best food and the best territory. Some predators were stronger than others. Another rivalry was in Ice Age Europe, the cave lion and the cave bear. It is thought that cave lions would hunt cave bears in their caves while they were asleep. If cave lions were to successfully kill the bear in its sleep, it would have to act fast with a killer bite to the throat. Sometimes a lion would be lucky enough to succeed, but if it wakes the bear, then a brutal fight would break out. And even though the cave bear is not a predator, it is still a very formidable creature to fight. And another commonly known rivalry in Ice Age Europe 
would be woolly mammoths and woolly rhinos. It would mostly be fighting over the best territory. It is commonly seen with modern day elephants and rhinos. These were two of the largest land animals on the planet, and it's best to give them their own space. And now I would like to talk about some incredible fossil sites that are fossil gold mines to paleontologists, one of which is the La Brea Tar Pits. The La Brea Tar Pits are in Los Angeles, California. Altogether, more than 3.5 million specimens have been recovered from the La Brea Tar Pits, representing nearly 650 species of plants and animals, such as saber-toothed cats, Colombian mammoths, dire wolves, American lions, short-faced bears, giant ground sloths, American mastodons, ancient bison, prehistoric species of horses and camels. Even modern-day animals have been found trapped in the tar pits, such as bears, coyotes, wolves, mountain lions, bobcats, and foxes, and large numbers of birds, amphibians, fish, and reptiles. We've been to the tar pits before, I believe I made a video about that, so feel free to check out our video. And if you guys want to look and see, we have a coin here from the Labrea Tar Pits Museum. You can see the little saber tooth, and then we have a little map right here of the park and the museum. Here is a map of the park. There's the entrance, and then what's cool is that the park is designed to look the way it did 10,000 years ago. You can see the mammoths right there, and then at the entrance you can see the American lions and saber tooth. Going up this way, you'll see a short-faced bear, and then right there, a giant ground sloth. And then if you take a look inside the museum, this is everything they have in the museum. They have a gift shop, photo experience, and then they have fossils and animatronics everywhere. Yeah, they even got a 3D theater. You can get a view of the fossil lab. Yeah, it's a pretty cool museum. And now I would like to talk about animals that have been found frozen in ice, such as cave lions, cave bears, woolly mammoths, woolly rhinos, and Pleistocene wolves. Thanks to these frozen remains, they can tell us a lot more about what the animals looked like. And then here's an idea. Finding these animals frozen in the ice, complete with flesh, fur, and tissue, perfect supply for cloning these extinct animals. Who knows if it's possible to clone extinct animals, but only the future can reveal whether this is a good idea or a Jurassic Park fantasy. And now I would like to go over the survivors of of the Ice Age. Almost every animal in America was a survivor of the Ice Age, and they were fortunate enough to make it to the present day. Unlike other unfortunate animals, it's very important that we do our best to save these animals before they suffer the same fate as other extinct animals. And now we are here with all the books and movies that we have that are about the Ice Age. We have Ice Age coloring books, and then we have informative books, we even have cards, even the Magic Treehouse stories. And then we even got movies here and documentaries. But yeah, folks, we're very big fans of the Ice Age, no doubt. And then I'm sure everyone is familiar with the famous Ice Age movie franchise. And I made a video about these coins, but just for this video, I'm going to go ahead and re-mention them again. So we have these Ice Age coins, and they have little Ice Age animals on these coins, and they're pretty cool. They're copper coins, if you want to take a look at them. Right there, you have a short-faced bear. And then right there, you have a giant ground sloth. And then right here, you have a saber-toothed cat. And then right there, you have a mammoth. And then right here, you have a cave lion. So yeah, these coins are pretty cool. They definitely acknowledge the animals of the Ice Age. So yeah, folks, the Ice Age was a very remarkable time in the Earth's history. And it was home to some of the most incredible animals that have ever lived on the planet. And I even uploaded a video of an Ice Age PowerPoint that we did a while ago. So feel free to check that out. And we want to give you a special thanks for watching this because it acknowledges our ancient history as prehistoric animals. So I hope we taught you a lot. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, content, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys later.